Okay guys, uh, what we're going to do now is putting a reset mechanism for the double ankle or the lateral tilt sweep if you feel you can't move your partner and have success with it. So, as always I'm hooking far butt cheek, knee or hip, raising my hips up. Now, from here, we've just been sweeping from almost a stagnant position. But if I'm here, I can't get double ankle, my tilt sweep's not working, even if he's up tall, he's just thinking I can't get the momentum over, I'm gonna have to do something to shift him. So what I'm gonna look to do is I'm gonna grip inside his knee, I'm gonna drop my hips, and I'm gonna switch my hook from far butt cheek to near butt cheek. From here, my foot plants, I'm gonna pull his knee, and I'm basically gonna kick my leg, kicking him into the empty space in front of him to make him step or post. From here, all I'm gonna do is basically reattaching single leg X. Far butt cheek again, near hip. Now, but at this point, if he stays there, he's prone to our X guard transitions. Let's stay down for a second. But if he stands up, his momentum changes and I can hit our tilt sweep on the way over and finish it as before. So the tilt sweep and double ankle sweep work very well when people are in transition and moving. If they can stand and batten down the hatches and putting the brakes, we can't move them so much. So this just allows us to just change the angle. So I'm here, I'm trying to sweep, I can't get any movement. I grip inside his knee, I drop my hips, I change from near butt cheek to, uh, sorry, far butt cheek to near butt cheek. I pull his knee, I kick, make him step. I transition back to single leg X. When he's moving, I add his momentum and we'll hit our basic tilt sweep off this. If during them standing up, we can get both ankles, we can use this just to switch back to the double ankle sweep.